Praise the Lord. I want to talk about not eating up all of your harvest. Yeah, I guess this. Um, why is it so important that when you get your paycheck from your job that you don't just blow it? You know why? You may need food for the rest of the week. Uh, you may need gas in the car. The car may break down. But if you spend all your money that you worked hard for, guess what? Now you're sitting around begging. It's the same way in the spiritual uh, realm. Excuse me. Listen to this. Every time you obey the word of God, you plant a seed. Why? Because the Bible calls the word of God the seed. When the Lord tells you to go and pray for someone, you plant a seed. When the Lord tells you to take this job because you're obeying the word of God, I said, you plant a seed. Now, it, the seed doesn't come back overnight, but sooner or later, you're going to get a harvest. Our problem is when we plant uh, the seed of peace, once we get our harvest, we stop obeying the word of God and then we eat up all our harvest and then we don't have anything yet left. In this season, it's been rough for a lot of people. But you know what happened? We obey God like never before. And once we got what we needed, we slowed up. So therefore, watch this. It's like someone going to work and getting their paycheck. And uh, spending all their paycheck But not going back to work for another paycheck God says in order to keep it harvest Watch this Even in a rough season You still got to go to work You know why? Because even if you're sick and you go to work You still get a paycheck Whoa, thank you Jesus The Lord says I don't care how heavy How miserable the season is in your life If you go to work for me You're going to still get a harvest So the Lord says If you're low on peace He says continue to uh, obey the word of God And then when the harvest come back around Now listen to Because what you sow You're going to reap People always look at it as being in the negative But in the positive If I sow good Good is going to come back So the Lord is telling you to give somebody a smile you say, well, how can I give something when I'm so low? I want to show you something. One day you're going to need that very smile. Watch this. Luke chapter uh, 6 and verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give it to your bosom. For with the same measure that ye give, it shall be given unto you. I want you to catch this. Whatever you give, the Lord says, give it, give it. And it's coming back. Well, thank you, Jesus. I thank God. And I'm and I'm I'm speaking my faith uh, with this for all those that are listening. You may be low now, but continue to obey the word of God, and you're going to look up and you're going to have a harvest. This time, don't eat up all your harvest. Go back to work, which means keep obeying the word of God. Every time you give peace, peace is coming back. Every time you give joy, joy is coming back. Every time you give a smile, a smile is coming back. But the difference is when you plant an apple tree, you don't get one apple, do you? You get a tree full of apples. The God says, whatever he has you to do is coming back in abundance. Love you and have a wonderful day.